wherever you are, wherever you do. You know that this sudden bursting into tears, coming out of the depths of existence to remind you of your origin, your spiritual nature, the breath of the divine within you, will ultimately leave you cleansed, relieved and lighter. No matter what the supposed reasons, could be something logically interpreted as a burden, could even be a song, someone's words, an inner touch during a walk in nature. The reason does not matter. This is truly a wonderful world to live in, despite the hardships, for God Death provides all the necessary tools for comforting her children, even though you might think being abandoned. Stop thinking. Bow down, pray to the name of the Creatrix Force. Let your front head touch the ground and you will be embraced by the Divine as soon as you sense tears falling upwards from your eyes towards the ground. Let us tune with this. I wake up in the morning after a dream of pain and suffering. In it, I was asking the most loving and tender of elders, does my complaint have to do with ingratitude? I don't remember the answer but it was relieving. He took me to a garden of compassion, where I could no longer care for my own good egoically, where I only felt the pain and suffering of others around me. I saw the mistakes I had made in judging others without having all the information on each matter. I grabbed a water pot to water the flowers of the garden to make life flourish again. I poured more and more water. I was doing it with all the necessary thinking of care, with all the information that I had. But they were drowned and they died. I felt wronged and I cried. No relief, till there was this sense, blessed be, that we shall never have enough information on our physical conditions. Midday comes, if a thunder fell and damaged everything around me, I would have no one to blame. What a relief that would be, to always have someone to blame and thus stay untouched by guilt. I would eternally be happy if only I knew that everything around me was caused by this or by that. I am painting my reality. I take the colors and the canvas and paint it out. I know I had killed those plans, but it was out of care, I thought. Stage one, I reciprocate the accusation and cry out of injustice. No relief. Stage two, I feel a lot of turmoil inside, but I hold back for a while and I do not speak. Does it really mean so much? My perception of care? What about the other one? What about the actual need of the other for care? And I cry. I cry for my perceptions that are proved untruth. No relief, still. Stage 3. I killed those plans, 
but I'm not disturbed. Just seconds before I watered them, they must have said that no, but I wasn't there. I recognize it. I see that I was absent from the momentum and I cry. What a relief. Tears are falling down on earth like diamonds of compassion for my earthly self that still does not capture the voice of existence seconds before taking action. But I am not disturbed now. Stage four. If I wronged existence and I feel a lot of joy, that great indescribable joy I am. I accept the momentum as it is. In the afternoon I see the myth. I haven't avoided reproducing thousands of years old reactions. Why suffering and pain and man harming man and when someone wrongs existence and proved guilty fire, punishment, and eye for an eye. And tears, no more tears. I just want to prove my innocence, my truth, which is the truth. If wronged and not been justified, to hear the bravo or the sorry, to witness executions in the middle of a crowded square. And you say, how come? I say your life for an eye, your life even for a parking space, your life for your comments against me on social media, your life for insulting me with your ideas and your words, and you say tears? What kind of tears? Justified and satisfied for being given yet another opportunity to get closer to the divine. Then one feels a cosmic joy. That is, one has in the self by default, organically, the divine consolation. It does not mean to stand not for one's rights, but Given that hysteria of persecutions, you know what magnitude of joy a soul has when the Divine brings you abruptly those burstings of tears. You're now happier that you are wronged because all of a sudden waterfalls coming out of your eyes they go through, no reason at all, crying and crying and releasing. You fall down and bow and let your front head touch the ground with gratitude. The evening embraces me. I'll give myself an example. He was queuing a check-in in an airport hall. A father standing ahead of him, holding a baby boy in his arms. The boy facing behind his father's back, staring at him. Staring deeply, profoundly, in presence as kids do. The baby raised his arm and tried to reach the face the face of him at whom he was staring profoundly. The baby raises the arm and the hand, that small hand, is trying to reach out to the man's face and all of a sudden he bursts into tears like never before, crying and crying he falls down in the middle of the airport hall. Front head touches the ground in an attempt to hide his crying face. Top of the head touching the ground has no clue of the why and still, in such a state, he wants to thank, to thank the baby 
to thank the ones who ever wronged him, thank his earthly self for the joy he was given in this life, but also for the eternity that is secured for him. And then tears falling from his eyes towards the ground at the top of his head, tears falling upwards and then the relief. Night comes, how different is it, spirit, from the mind-oriented perception? Things are upside down, even tears. If you stare in love at the ugly, then it becomes beautiful. If you give to the other, then you feel rich. When you accept the injustice and justification of the other, by only allowing different mental perceptions to just be and recognize them, you accept the much wronged heart of the beloved one inside you. And then living compassion and relief rent a room inside you and you fill with peace and true joy of forgiveness undisturbingly. To learn to rejoice in the spiritual joy, not in the worldly. There is no greater lightness than the joy you feel when you accept the gifts of spirit into your life. The sudden tears of consolation. Heart prayer to the one for all humans to be grabbed by the tears of spirit and drop down in gratitude to experience the tears that fall upwards. Dear diary, good night.